The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb was soon eclipsed by the shadow of its alleged curse. The pharaoh's victims were adding up, and the press seized upon the dark rumors. In May 1923, George J. Gould, an American railroad magnet, died of pneumonia after visiting the tomb. July that same year, Egyptian playboy Prince Ali Fami Bey, after seeing the tomb, was later shot by his wife in the Savoy Hotel. Key members of Carter's team soon followed. It's well known that Howard Carter's account of the whole opening of the tomb was co-written by another Egyptologist, Arthur Mace. And within a year, Arthur Mace had had this major physical breakdown and had to retire from Egypt entirely. And he went back to New York and he died in 1928. The person who worked with Howard Carter to X-ray and photograph some of the artifacts was Sir Archibald Reed, and he died uh, in January 1924. And then there was a French Egyptologist, very eminent, called Georges Benedict, uh, and he had inspected the tomb and fell very badly outside on the steps and died in 1926. Others ensued. Lord Carnarvon's secretary was called Richard Bethel. And he died in mysterious circumstances in 1929, thought to have committed suicide in his London club. And the great confirmation of that story was that his father had heard this news and had kind of cried, it's the curse of the mummy, the curse of the mummy. And within a few weeks, his father had thrown himself out of a window and died as well. Within 10 years of the discovery, 13 deaths had been linked to the curse, 